Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Dead Man here. And I'm thinking of going back into the thrill of, I guess, getting spooked by nukes. And last time, let's just say that video didn't have any sound on it, so we're going to try that again. But that's not what we're going to be here for. Today we're going to check out a death battle. I know. What is a death battle? That's a good question. Let's find out. Hey! Uh, don't be mad, but oh. I pushed some buttons in your lab, and now I'm in cyberspace. Oh, yeah. That's just, uh, their membership program. Tanjiro Kamado, the sun-breathing demon slayer swordsman. Jonathan yeah. Joestar, the very first Jojo who ever joged. Mm -hmm. These two anime monster hunters are as deadly with a blade as they are infinitely good-natured. But don't cross them, else they might leave you breathless. <laughs> He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. Daisho Japan, an era of unparalleled progress and imperial domination. But this empire had a sickness, a rot at its core. Demons. This race of superhuman cannibals originated from one being, their all-powerful progenitor, Muzan Kibutsuji. Uh, who spent his evening slaughtering families Michael Jackson. Them, including the Kamado clan. Though one of them famously survived. Yikes. The eldest son, Danjiro. Well, the good news is your sister Nezuko is alive too. Bad news is she's a demon now, so sorry, champ. I'm chucking this day up as an L. But Tom <laughs> possessed the golden heart of an anime protagonist, and he devoted his life to curing Nezuko's curse and ending Muzan's evil once and for all. So he joined mm -hmm. the Demon Slayer Corps, a secret group of badass demon hunters with badass swords. Yeah. From a unique sunlight absorbing ore, the Nichiren Blade is one of the only weapons that can decapitate a demon and end their unholy existence for good. Especially when combined with the Slayer's fancy pants katana magic. It isn't katana magic. Okay, well, it's totally katana magic, but that's not what it's called. Yeah, <laughs> it's breathing, which is so lame. Anybody can do that. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> I was wrong. The use of breathing is crucial to real life martial arts. Deeper breaths massage the organs below the diaphragm, relaxing your body and lowering its energy requirement, while simultaneously giving you more energy to use. Tanjiro mm. mastered this breathing shit so well, he could do it in his sleep, literally 24-7. This is total concentration breathing, a technique developed by the Demon Slayers in order to massively increase their physical abilities to match their blatantly superhuman foes. Through the measured intake of oxygen, users can boost their concentration, reactions, and even manipulate the flow of their blood. This can help in slowing down poisons or speeding up the coagulation of wounds. Which means nice. you can use it to quickly recover in case of injury or fatigue. And demon slayers can combine their breathing with their blades for, well, katana magic. Yeah. Each breathing style is a separate form of sword combat. The first form Tanjiro mastered was water breathing, a flexible defensive style where a user's blade summons water to slice like a raging current. Tanjiro's literal boneheaded oh. stubbornness made Hold up, okay. A common misconception is that the elemental effects from breathing are just artistic flair, but there have been numerous situations where the elements interacted uniquely in battle or were used as projectiles. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I wonder what that is as well, but I mean, it it, it helps on in battle, and it looks pretty awesome, the effects they use. It, it, yeah, it's crazy. Made him a prodigy demon slayer in no time. He proved to be a tactical genius in combat, able to discern an opponent's weaknesses and exploit them in the heat of the moment. It was almost as if demon slaying was in his very blood. Well, because it was. Hundreds of years ago, the creator of the very first breathing style taught this knowledge to Tanjiro's ancestors, who passed it down to Tanjiro himself. This was the dance of the fire god, the Hinokami Kagura, sun breathing. With sun breathing, Tanjiro's sword burst into godlike flames that slow a demon's healing factor and can turn into a wicked fire dragon. Yeah! Sun breathing increases Tanjiro's speed and power, but at a cost. It will quickly tire him out and overuse could severely debilitate him. Which can also turn on this really distracting birthmark on his forehead. Through intense uh. stress and exertion, Tanjiro can activate this Demon Slayer mark, which boosts his already crazy strength and speed even further. And gives him access to the see-through world. 
Basically, mm. it slows down time for Tanjiro and gives him X-ray vision. This what? allows him such a precise understanding of his opponent's muscle movements that he can predict their future actions. Sort of like a spider sense. Seriously? He can even do the same with just his sense of smell. No Demon Slayer mark needed. Not only can his nose detect people from hundreds of yards away, it lets him find an opponent's opening in battle even easier than before. You'd think being an anime swordsman would make Tanjiro even edgier than his blade, but he's basically the group mom. With his uh. <laughs> cherub sweet this matched only by his raw badassery. Exactly. Is tough enough to survive being stabbed in the stomach, fast enough to dodge lightning, and strong enough to slice through and derail a literal demon train. That demon turned himself into a train, Wiz! Funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> this demon, Doma, was able to freeze the air into this giant ice statue in only a few seconds. That takes huh. a lot of energy. So that's and what he Andrew does. managed to keep up with similarly powerful demons like Hantengu, Akaza, and eventually the strongest of them all, Muzan himself. With hey. the help of his friends, of course. It would take all their efforts and countless sacrifices, but Tanjiro and the Demon Slayers would continue to fight to realize their dream of a world that is safe for humanity. And whatever Inosuke is. I mean, that's pretty much time true. Victorian England! An infamously shit-tastic time to be alive! Whether you're <laughs> a holy street rat or a wealthy noble. Okay, well, that last one probably wasn't so bad. That is, well. unless your dad, in all his infinite wisdom, decided to adopt the single greatest asshole in human history and make him your brother. That'd make you one unlucky schmuck. That would make you Jonathan, Jonathan Joestar. Joestar. Hadn't you heard, Wiz? Everybody just calls him Jojo. In an effort to take the Joestar fortune for himself, Jonathan's new brother, Dio, dedicated his life to breaking Jonathan emotionally, turning him into a docile puppet. But after being bullied, beaten, and thoroughly traumatized, something <laughs> awakened deep in Jonathan's heart. The raging fire of a gentleman. I don't think beating the living piss out of Dio was gentle, but it sure was satisfying. Oh, but yeah. It didn't last forever, because only a few years later, Later, Dio got his revenge when he turned into a vampire and killed Papa Joestar. <laughs> Come on, Dio. Dio. Come With on. Dio now bent on world domination, Jonathan would need more than his righteous fist to save the day. Yeah, he needed a creepy floating Italian man that punches frogs with the power of the sun. It wasn't just any creepy floating Italian man. It was Will Antonio Zeppelin, a practitioner of Haman, an ancient martial art designed specifically to do battle against vampires like Dio. Through their breaths, Hamon users can blast a hot electric ripple out of their bodies and flood it into their opponents. Huh. That's what Hamon huh. means in English. The ripple. Man, if I had a nickel for every anime protagonist who killed monsters with the power of breathing, well, that'd be two nickels. But let's agree, it's weird that it happened twice. Uh, Hamon yeah. energy massively increases a user's physical abilities and allows them to disintegrate vampires with a single punch. In order to fight Dio, Zeppeli taught Jonathan everything he knew. Like the zoom punch, where Jonathan stretches his arm and punches an opponent from far away like he jumped on a gum gum fruit. He does this by using the ripple to dull the pain of dislocating his shoulder oh. before snapping it back. That might sound crazy, but there are real life examples of breathing what? basically giving people superpowers. Like the Dutch adventurer Wim Hof, who can survive being nearly totally submerged in ice water for almost two hours. Dang. Through forced exhalation, Hof drops his oxygen levels in order to supercharge his body's thermoregulation and release euphoric chemicals to numb the pain, just like the zoom punch. Wait, hold on, no, no. You tell me bro is in ice and like he's numbing the pain but is he still feeling the cold he's got to be honestly because there's just that's just i mean hey I, I two hours is a pretty good record supposedly so yeah basically just like the eastern idea of chi voila which is circulated through the body by what else breathing and yeah just like chi he could do lots of crazy shit like walking on water, magnetizing plants, or controlling an enemy's muscles. It can even be transferred through solid surfaces like metal. And he can catch his fists on fire and slam you senseless with his patented sunlight yellow overdrive. Yeah. Leave any monster smiling and satisfied. Uh-huh. 
John uh -huh. took these skills as he, Zeppeli, and the definitely not just there for exposition Speedwagon invaded Dio's domain and waged war against an army of bloodthirsty zombies. Including Dio's right hand monsters, Rupert and Tarkus. Tarkus was strong enough to rip entire boulders out of the ground and slice through a cliff with one swing. He could even snap JoJo's neck and cut our old pal Zeppeli in half. Uh, rest in peace, creepy floating Italian man. Uh. Sorry you had to be born the mentor. Hope none of your relatives die horrified. Caesar! His last act was to pass his ripple onto Jonathan, not only allowing him to heal his own broken neck, but also combine their energies together. And making JoJo strong enough to cut through Tarkus's giant arm, not with his nifty new sword, Pluck, with his bare goddamn hand. With this power boost, Jonathan faced Dio once and for all, and fisted him with his raging hot ripple. Um... Wait, no. Fist and Dio was pretty impressive, considering Dio could later fight faster than light stands like Star Platinum. Oh, now, yeah. Even other Ripple users like Joseph can dodge beams of light, too. But more than his strength or speed or even Haman, Jonathan's greatest strength was always his intelligence and unstoppable determination. It was that burning drive for justice that defeated Dio all those years ago, and the same one that defeated him again. But this victory was bittersweet. Yeah. He built like a brick shithouse, but Jonathan's got the personality of a golden retriever. Even after everything Dio did to him, all of the lies and abuse and dad murder, Jonathan still loved him like a brother and still cried those hot, wet 80s man-made tears. And even after Dio returned on Jonathan's wedding night to murder him and steal his body, Jonathan sacrificed himself so his wife and unborn child could escape. But Dang. he did not die in vain. His bloodline would continue throughout the ages, spawning a line of illustrious and bizarre heroes who would crush Dio's plans and save the universe. <laughs> and they all had one thing in common, his name, Jojo. Wait, is the ripple is dead? Well, yeah. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. Oh, wait. It's time for a death battle! Yeah. Let's get to the death battle. All right. Save us some time. Step aside. I've sworn to slay all of Dio's demonic minions. I hey. don't know who you are, but you better leave her alone. You poor wretch. Shackled by the chains of this harpy's insidious mind control on my honor as a gentleman. I yeah. Free you. Oh, Honestly. Uh, I'm sorry, nope. sir. Did you bump your head? Hey, it's anybody's game now. It's hard to say who's going to win. Total concentration. Water breathing. Most unorthodox. You fight with valor, noble swordsman, but I know the burning passion of my heart will carry me through! Aww, he's kind of adorable! Like a puppy! I wonder if he has a caretaker nearby. Oh no. Woohoo! <laughs> You're mine! Oh. Valiant footwork! Nice try! Incredible! You could teach me a thing or two! Scarlet Overdrive! Oh. Oh? This breathing is carrying some kind of energy. Like me. And that means I know how to stop him. He's focusing on my neck. Does he know? Metal Silver Overdrive! Dang! It's getting heated! Oh, will Tanjiro win? Oh, he's going for my lungs. 
Oh, he's got it. Okay. What? Oh no! Yep. Oh man. She's my sister. <gasps> no. On my honor, as a gentleman, I will protect her with my life. Come on, Jonathan. Uh. Well, we all know who won that one, I guess. And that's death battle for you. KO! I'm not crying. I'm only crying really hard. Holy shit, hold me, bro. Please don't touch me. <laughs> On paper, Tanjiro did initially seem to have more advantages in this bout. Uh, for sure. He'd been training for way longer than Jonathan. Yeah. With way more experienced teachers. Tanjiro's Demon Slayer journey took place over a couple of years, while Jonathan's Ripple training was less than a month. Tanjiro was obviously a superior swordsman with a variety of powerful techniques and katana magic, while Jonathan really only improvised as a swordsman. But that's where the advantages stop. Sure, Jonathan wasn't a natural swordsman, but he more than made up for it in hand-to-hand -hand combat, while Tanjiro was pretty much out of options without a blade. Jonathan also had an edge in strength. Comparing Tanjiro to Doma and Jojo to Tarkus, Jonathan was over twice as strong. And while Tanjiro later fought the more powerful Muzan, Jonathan did the same with Dio. He was way faster too. While Tanjiro and his pals could dodge lightning, we can compare Jonathan to other Ripple users like Joseph who could dodge light, which is yeah. over 3,000 times faster. That might seem crazy, but in part three, Dio was able to keep up with stands like Star Platinum, which can move faster than light. Dio did this on his own, and that was wild using Jonathan's body. Even with multiple ways to predict Jonathan's movements and see the flow of his ripple with x-ray vision, Tandro would not have been fast enough to keep up. Especially with the ripple backing him up. Sure, the water and fire Tanjiro generates is impressive, but Jonathan was tough enough to power through it. Tanjiro, though, had no way to defend against the ripple bypassing his durability uh... and directly messing with his organs. Such as manipulating his muscles like a puppeteer, or directly shutting off his brain or heart. Something other ripple users have done to ordinary humans with a single zap. And Jonathan had the opportunity to do this literally every time Tanjiro blocked his blade. Sure, Tanjiro could recover himself with a breath, but that'd be a breath spent healing and not, you know, fighting. And while sun breathing's overuse was dangerous to Tanjiro, Jojo's Hamon had no such drawback. Which meant that Jojo could keep fighting for as long as he needed to. Tanjiro was never gonna go down easy, but Jonathan's speed, Hamon, and righteous gentlemanly fists carried him to victory. Jonathan yeah. took Tanjiro's breath away. The winner is Jonathan Joestar. What a gentleman. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the next matchup next week. But you can always get more Death Battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there and by downloading the battle music linked down below. Let's see who's up next. Okay. Oh. Thor versus Vegeta. Well, that is, uh, certainly a death battle. Quite unexpected. Ah, oh, man. I mean, Jonathan, yeah, uh, they really set, I don't know how they set it up. Like, some, there are, some death battles are unpre un like, you're unable to predict, but some are pretty uh, easy to predict, but in, it's, it is what it is. That's death battle for you guys. And if you want more, leave a like, subscribe, tell me which death battle you want and go check them out rooster teeth or i guess just death battle themselves and uh, if you want me to react to another death battle uh they got a whole playlist of them but they got about a hundred of them so i guess if you want pick one for me or i'll figure one out because i know there are a couple i wanted to react to so yeah you leave a like comment subscribe and good day